You know, working downstairs, you and I have talked about this, but uh, Mike Sweeney is working downstairs. And uh, Mike, Mike Sweeney, Sweeney uh, love, love worked Mike Sweeney. worked in the yeah. comedy clubs with you. And Mike Sweeney has been with me for almost 30 years, yeah. I think. Not working, he just hangs around. Um, <laughs> but he's, he's a terrific, incredible writer. He's been with me forever. But he loves to talk about you in the clubs. <laughs> oh, God. And what you were like yeah. as... Uh, as a stand-up. I was and, very young. I was and a one young of, man. One of my favorite stories that he tells, and I don't want to mistell it, is that you apparently had a joke that you would do at the top of your set, <laughs> <laughs> which, and you would tell the other comics, yeah. Yeah. if the crowd goes for this, I know that it's my crowd and I'll continue. Yeah. And then if they don't go for this, I'll know that it's not going to go well. And the joke was... Oh, was the uh, the two form? Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I did that. That was the uh, I did that on the Curb special. Yep. Yeah. No. Basically, I'd go up. I'd say. Go out to a packed crowd. <laughs> yeah. Nightclub. Yeah. <laughs> comedy club. I, I can't even do it. You're making me laugh. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. A lot of pressure. I, uh... <laughs> I like this more than the. the I like the joke, but you know, um... <laughs> you seem you seem like a. By the way, hey, you, you seem like a very good audience tonight. I'm wondering. Uh... <laughs> May I use the two form with you people? Because I feel I feel very kind of close to you. I feel like I know you. Do you, do you mind if I jump into the two form? <laughs> and if I got laughs, I would continue. Yeah. I'd go. Um, you know, Caesar used the two form with Brutus even after Brutus stabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> he said uh, to Brute, I think at that point, if somebody's trying to kill you, you don't have to be that familiar with them. Right, right. Yeah. So I would I would throw that out. There. Right. And yeah. and and Sweeney said that the other comedians would all come out and they would watch because they were so fascinated to see what would happen. And their favorite thing was if the crowd didn't go for it. <laughs> You became enraged. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you start berating them. <laughs> oh, I guess you people I guess you people didn't take Spanish or French in high school. <laughs> You know, there's a familiar two form in Spanish. It's usted, if you know, if it's kind of formal. But if you're friends with a person, then you use the two form. Imagine you're being yelled at because you. You and I have talked a little bit about because I worked at Saturday Night Live. And you were had worked there earlier, and because your career fascinates me, it's a lot of. You're clearly this incredibly gifted, funny person. And it was trying to find, and you were very principled about doing things your way. I know at SNL, it wasn't a good fit for you because you had your sense of humor, the stuff that you thought was funny, and you had a hard time getting stuff on the air. Yeah, I didn't get, um, I didn't get one. Oh, I got one sketch on at, uh, that wonderful 1250 slot. My favorite. My, yeah. That's my, that's the sweet spot. <laughs> right. 1250. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. where I, that's where I used to hang out. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So I had one sketch on the whole year. At one point you just became angry and quit. Yes. And yes. then famously showed up a couple of days later. Uh, I pretended the whole thing never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Which became a yeah. became yeah. a Seinfeld yeah, episode. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was I was computing how much money I had. I, I cost myself enough money to live on for two years for me. And I, I go, oh boy, what an idiot! That was so stupid. Because I really, I had a, I had a, like a hissy fit. I went up to Dick Ebersol and I said, "This show stinks." This is right before air. <laughs> <laughs> this is like week number six, and I had been cut every week. And I went up to him, and he had, he had the headphones on, mm -hmm. the headset on, and I went, "This show stinks." It's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done here. <laughs> and then you just came back. I just came now, back. Now, maybe yeah. because he had the headset on, he couldn't hear you. Uh, maybe, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I came back. 
and uh, I pretended it never happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. It worked. I think, oh, I think, did? I think yeah. you did that a few times, Sona. I'm yeah. sure I did. I think there was a couple, because Sona is my assistant, and there were several times where I think you told me to fuck off. I've stormed off a lot. Stormed off. And then, off, and then, then that, I'd, I'd come in the next day, and you'd be eating Zanku chicken at your desk <laughs> and watching The Bachelor. Yeah, and, and you, I, you completely just didn't oh, even mention my do? outburst. Yeah, what are you going to do? I'm surprised it didn't really catch on throughout the country. You know? that uh, after I told the story. Yeah. Hey, this is a way I could tell off my boss and then come back and keep my job. Right. Yeah. I would think because of the shows you've worked on or created Seinfeld and then Curb, those are shows where everybody thinks they have a good episode. Everybody would, anybody can come up to you and say, you know, when you're at the gas station yeah. and you go to clean, but there's no towel there to wipe off the squeegee. Yeah. And I think that's a thing that happens to everybody. And shouldn't that happen to Larry? Yeah. And you have to, what do you do? Because you must get that constantly. I go, I go, let me stop you right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to meet the pit sheriff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. the, there should be a pit sheriff, too. Sure. Yeah. I go, let me stop you right there. You know, um, <laughs> I'm not the Writers Guild for yes. me to hear ideas yes. from from other people. So um, I, I'm I'm sorry. You know, I'm sure it's a great idea, but I I can't I can't hear it. Right. Yeah. And does that work? That doesn't work. Yeah. No, it works. Okay. It's pretty good. What doesn't work um, are the pictures, because uh, you know you're in the street. Hey, there's a fan one wanting to take a picture, and so I <laughs> so I. I thought uh, I th I tried something new, and I said, "You know what? <laughs> I can't. I can't take pictures outside." <laughs> Wait, what? 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 Like a vampire? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I said, "You know, there's there's people. I can't take pictures outside." Um, and then when I was inside, I, I would say to people, "You know what? I'm not. I can't take pictures." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so how's that working for you? It, it, you know, it started out okay, and then I, I, I sort of couldn't get through it without laughing. So. <laughs> <laughs>